Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you eight different websites that I look to for design inspiration. I find that when I really think about it, I always come back to these websites when I need inspiration for architecture, inspiration for interior design, and they just have a range of really cool and new design ideas all in one place. Whether you're a student, architect, or interior designer, I think that you'll find my choices really helpful and hopefully you can refer back to them for design inspiration too. So if you're interested, let's jump in. Here at DMB, we produce a wide variety of projects like brand identity for businesses, illustration work, residential design, restaurants, hotels, spas, and so on. And of course, a big part of what we do surrounds commercial businesses. So one website I look to for inspiration is Hospitality Design. It's both a magazine and a website and covers all kinds of new projects in the hospitality sector globally. They also hold lots of events throughout the year and also host awards for the best hospitality projects. The hospitality industry is so huge and as an interior architect who also creates hospitality spaces, it's just really nice to have everything in one place. If you type interior design inspiration into Google, more often than not, it's going to come up with a residential project. Websites like House and almost all interior design magazines solely focus on residential interiors, which of course I love too, but it's actually quite difficult to find hospitality design projects without going onto a design practices own website. So hospitalitydesign.com is fantastic for me to get some inspiration for that particular sector. Also along the same kind of lines is commercial design and of course hospitality sits within that umbrella term. I have two websites I look to for the newest and innovative schemes in this area and they are commercialinteriordesign.com and mixinteriors.com. Again, they are actually both magazines with online articles as well and you can purchase a digital subscription too. Not that I do, I simply look at the most recent posts. A lot of the projects on commercial interior design are based in the Middle East because that's where the magazine is based. Also, there's a huge amount of development continuing in Dubai, lots of new hotels, restaurants and spas, etc. opening up every day, and the website highlights the trendiest upcoming places. And mixinteriors.com also centres around commercial interior design, but with a look at projects based here in the UK. I think that, for me anyway, seeing different projects from around the world really inspires me because each designer is influenced by their surroundings and that ultimately leads to very different design solutions. So I like to see how different designers from other continents create commercial interiors. Definitely check these two sites if you're interested in commercial interior design. Next up are two websites that share all things design and they are Design Milk and Design. I tried to whistle it down to only picking one of them, but they're so similar and I do like both of them equally. They both showcase interior projects, new architectural builds, product design, the latest tech and just really anything design. So I like to look back at these sites to really keep up to date with everything I need to know about the design world and keep on top of the latest trends and projects. I just find both of these sites really cool. I always say that we need to be constantly thinking about incorporating more sustainable factors into our design process and one website that is specifically tailored to this is Green Building and Design. I actually only know two websites that talk about green design, this being one of them, and to me I find it quite difficult to find a lot of information about sustainable projects Project, so I'm really grateful for this one. They have all the information on sustainability for professionals and I particularly appreciate the guide section on their website that informs us on different areas like how to meet performance spec using sustainable interiors or an expert's guide to sustainable kitchen design. I wish that there were more websites that shoved sustainable materials on products in your face because it definitely makes my life easier rather than me spending hours going down an internet hole looking for a sustainable tile for my project. Obviously, I'm stationed in interior design but I am an interior architect so of course I also get inspiration from architecture and one website that I love is Architizer. This website is all about the latest architectural projects and proposals. You can select from a list of locations around the world and see what is going down. What I particularly like is that they have this section if you need inspiration on something specific like glass for example and all these schemes pop up that have used glass. That feature is really useful and there's just so much 
much you can do with it. That could be really beneficial if you're a student looking for a particular case study. I also love that you can sift through different architectural firms. For me, that's such a great method to see what other people are up to and be inspired. They have products and manufacturers too that you can find on the tabs at the top. However, because they are an American company, most of them are going to be based in the US. Don't get me wrong, they do have international suppliers on there as well, but the majority you're going to see are American. For me, Architizer is one of the most multifaceted websites for architects and designers to use compared to Architonic and Arcsaley, even though I love those two, by the way. When starting a design project, I always look at a range of different outlets to get inspiration and of course the websites I mentioned. But if I'm being honest, a lot of my inspiration also comes from Pinterest and Instagram too, so I don't think it would be fair if I didn't mention them. I just find that there really is such a vast catalogue of ideas from around the world and I don't have to explain to you, but all this content is being created so quickly and new ideas are being added every single day. Also, as a designer, I don't just get inspired by interiors and architecture, I also get it from art accounts I follow or fashion I've seen on Pinterest. As much as Instagram want to deter from being a photo sharing app, they'll always be so popular because creative people share their ideas and creativity and inspire others through the photos they share. So I would definitely admit that I become inspired from so many different outlets. But I always find that I return back to the websites that I shared with you because they just show clear guidance when I'm lost for design inspiration. And if you guys need more advice, I have a whole playlist of architecture and interior design tips, so I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. If you're new to our channel, then I just want to say welcome. On the channel, we talk about architecture, interior design, and so much more cool creative stuff. So if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one. Leave me an internet emoji down below to let me know that you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new. And if you liked it, then please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that, you actually really help our channel to reach even more people. Okay guys, I hope that you found those websites really useful. Definitely check them out because they really do help me when I'm in a bit of a rut. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.